getting more of a sensation of where my body is um, by messages getting sent up to my brain. Right. Isn't that amazing? That's proprioception, where your body is in space. And you're honing that. It's almost like a skill that you just keep practicing and you get better. So we did a little bit of partner assist. Um, what did you feel about that whole process of getting down on the floor and having us move you? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I really love it. I, I, I want some more of it. Yeah. Um, what I think would be ideal for everybody, my dream is to have the, like the therapy mats wider than a massage table, but, mm -hmm. but um, so then you just slide onto it and, and um, nobody has to, to uh, help somebody on the floor, especially um, some, like a really big person. Mm -hmm. That um, the benefit, I think, is, is enormous. <laughs> yeah. And you felt it afterwards, right? Like a couple of days, days afterwards, yeah. Three right. days, that was the shaking, shaking my, my uh, kink coils. Yeah, exactly. So we got you a little bit upside down, a little bit of an inversion, that mm -hmm. kind of feeling that kind of just releases the pressure, things like that, yeah. And then we did some uh, movement of bringing your knees in and out, those kind of things. And could you feel any sensation in that, any pulling, any tugging, any movement of energy? Yeah, I feel, I feel a lot. I've been doing a lot of, um, I guess it's called baby pose. Mm -hmm. Happy baby pose, yeah. When I get in bed, and I'll pull up my knees and then I, I, I twist to one side and stay there for a while. And I love that. I just love the way that one feels. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Um, so what would you say to someone who is in a partner assist situation and they're the partner assisting you, like me? What kind of cautions would you kind of give a person like me if I were to do that with you? Well, my concern is always that somebody's going to hurt their back in the lifting part. Mm -hmm. um, with, um, I asked somebody the other day to help me rotate this hip. I was laying on my back and then I held up my, held up my, my leg like in an L shape mm -hmm. and then just, just pivoted around on the hip socket. Right. And so for that person, you know, they like, don't go too far when it, when the muscle mm -hmm. stops, um, stop. Don't don't push it more, mm -hmm. and um, don't go too fast. And some people they just okay, boom, boom, boom. Like, no, right. it's not calisthenics. Go really slow. Yeah, you know, it's a muscle that we don't want to rip it, or we don't want to we don't want to snap any bones. Either. And so you don't necessarily feel the sensation, but are you again in your mind creating any kind of visualization? Are you kind of imagining that you can? feel that hip moving in and the muscles stretching. I mean, what's going on in your mind while someone is doing those movements? I'm not sure how much of it is my visualization and how much it is um, that I feel the movement. Mm -hmm. Because I, um, because I'm always connecting to it, so if you're moving my leg, uh, well, if I'm watching you, then I feel it completely. Yeah. It's not like I don't know what's happening. But if I shut my eyes, uh, it could be that I think you're doing. You've got my foot over here, but it's really over here. But lately, um, I'm always on target on my guesses. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think I'm getting more of a sensation of where my body is um, by messages getting sent up to my brain. Right. Isn't that amazing? That's proprioception, where your body is in space. And you're honing that. It's almost like a skill that you just keep practicing and you get better.